hey guys welcome to the service now world and today we'll discuss how to update existing work notes and comments from a record in service now so sometimes what happen when we are working as a service now developer or service now admin by mistake we have update something wrong in the work notes and uh, we don't know how to correct it so how we'll do that how, how to correct that 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 we'll see today so for demo purpose I'll take one incident record and there will update some wrong work notes and then after that I'll correct it out. So let me open the incident record. So here I have opened the incident list. So let me open this incident record. Okay, so here let me put some uh, work notes. So let's say like I'm putting like incorrect work notes updated by system. Okay, or I can say like updated by user and I'll just save it. So let's say like uh, this is the incorrect work notes we have updated and we have to update this uh, update the correct 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 work notes okay so what we do firstly we have to locate the all the journal entries because in general entries we will get all the work notes and the comments so there uh, so where, where we will find all those journal entries so their table name it table name is sys so let me type it here sys underscore journal underscore field dot filter and from here to just copy the incident society and in filter just put element id in element id put the incident society and run it you will find all the work notes and comments here so since you have seen the all are the work notes only so that's why you're seeing the element is work notes right and which one we have to update it so we have to update this one incorrect work notes updated by user so let me update it something like correct work notes updated by me okay and I'll just update it here. Once we once we done with that, if we refresh this incident form, we'll see that like still we are getting the incorrect work notes only. So we have to do uh, next step. Next step is that we have to update their audit entry of this incident record. Okay. So for that we have to open it. So here in here in filter navigator we have to type sys underscore audit dot filter and there also in filter I can select the document key and here put the incident sys id okay and then run it yes so here if you see here like you see that the field name it work notes and we have seen like we, we are getting this entry and we are we seeing the our work notes incorrect work notes updated by user if you notice one thing we have updated the journal entry but still we have we are seeing like in audit audit entry we are seeing the old value only right so you have to just open this record okay and just delete this one old value and in new value update this this work note whatever we updated in the journal entry same we have to update it here okay so new value will be correct work notes updated by me okay let me save it so till now we have done uh, two step one we have updated the journal entry second we have updated the audit entry and let's see now whether it's uh, whether the correct work notes updated in our system uh, in our incident record or not so 
so if you see here still we are showing the incorrect work notes updated by user so we have to do one more step so that is the we have to delete the record history because that is that is still holding the old old value okay old work note value so here we just go to the sys history underscore set dot filter and there we have to select the id and in id we have to send the incident sys id okay and just run it so whatever the record history we have got related to that particular incident we have to delete all of them okay so i'm just deleting it once we delete it so if you see here we are still seeing the work uh, incorrect work notes because i haven't refreshed the form after deleting the record history if we refresh it and you see that right the incorrect work note got uh, delete uh, updated right now it's now it, now you are seeing like correct work notes updated by me right so it's working right so what we have done we have firstly we have to update their journal entry then we have to update the audit entry and third we have to delete the record history so why we are deleting the record history like once we delete the record history and when we refer when the user is refreshing the form it will rebuild again by taking the data from the audit entry okay whatever the audit and general entry so if i refresh it you see that it's created again okay so it will create it with the updated data which we are which we have put in the general entry and the in the and in add in the audit record okay few things you have to like when we when we are doing this thing in a production i can say you have to remember see these are all kind of a audit tables okay so remember when when we are running any query just be very cautious because it may cause a performance issue okay so these are the so just take uh, the appropriate approvals then 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 only you can perform and my suggestion is that firstly before doing in the production firstly perform this uh, these 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 steps in a dev environment or a test test environment for testing work so you have to be confident like a, like you can do in the prod environment as well okay so i hope you got it and if you still have any doubt please write in the comment box i'll respond it till that time thank you god bless you all